Hello and welcome. I'm on the lot at the used lot. And uh, what do we have here? Do you remember when these used to uh, be on the roads of America? This is a 1987 Chevy G20 conversion. This one's by uh, Hubler, I think. We'll have to go back and look. You remember these? Okay, so this one says one owner on it. Amazing. 120,000 miles. Here's the problemo, as they say. Uh, it's 12 grand. Okay, so that's a bit much. We're going to show why. Because people are saying, Mark, you can't get a decent car. Look, <laughs> the thing qualifies for a classic, uh, well, historic plate here. All right, so you could go put that on it. And here's some of the problems, right? Now, look, I'm not saying this is bad or good because the van is old. It's in 87. So I expect some of these problems. But for $12,000... Right, I don't expect these problems, right? And this is another place that could have done paint buffing. Now they did the wheels, or if the wheels came in like that, it's a, they look really good. If somebody would have taken an hour with a buffer, this thing would look fantastic, and it would make a big difference in its value, I think. It doesn't have a lot of rust, but it does have some rust, right, around the spaces that you expect. So I don't know if it leaks, and it's got a CB in there, let's take a look. Right, there's your CB. But look at, see that coming down? That's the window trim around the windshield coming down. But right there is your CB. It's a Midland CB and the seats are faded, of course. From being old, look, it's old. And from faded in the sun, I get that. I get it. But, you know, we can't be at 12000 for this. And I don't know what it would have been new. I bought a conversion in 01. 2001, it was a Ford conversion. And it was in the 20s, like 27 maybe. So I don't know what this one might have been new. Less than that, probably. It is a G20, so it's on a three-quarter ton platform. Uh, likely a V8, although some of them had sixes in them. There was a six. This is not a diesel. And, uh, you know, here's another thing, right, that I noticed. Like, it has a capless fuel filter. I don't remember them having capless fuel in 87. Okay, so uh, that's been changed. The thing could have rusted out. I haven't looked underneath it because I'm just not going to get under there. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, okay, right. Van Gallery conversion by Hubler. That's Hubler Chevy. So I don't know if they had this done for them. I don't know. That it's a one owner is really something. If we could confirm that, it's in good shape, okay? I'm not going to say it's not in good shape for being that old. Okay, that, I'm not going to say that. Usually these are all rusty. But see, I think the bumper's been re replaced or re-chromed. Because look at the bumper, okay? Look how shiny it is, and that's awesome. See what's holding it on there? There's no way this stayed good, and then that's all rusted. I just wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't personally buy it. I'd want to really get underneath this thing and look. Because up here, look, we use a lot of salt and stuff. And a lot of people are not, um, you know, like me, washing their cars all the time. It does look good. The tires are really good. They have a lot of tread on them. They all match. So could somebody be a one owner on this? They could be a one owner on this. It is possible. There's not that much rust on this side. Little surface rust. It's very good condition. I'll put it in VG. Uh, but it does need some things. And personally, I think 12 is too much for it. There's not even any rust on the hinges whatever good shape very good shape could use a good buff that would make it look really great i like it look i like it uh it's a big people hauler look it even comes with its own spider you got to shake it on your shack it right there look at he's shacking around comes with its own spider so you're gonna let him be of course uh <laughs> i don't know what else to say right i like it i think it could it could have some rust and i wouldn't but I wouldn't pay twelve for it. I just wouldn't do twelve thousand on it. Would I pay something for it? Yeah, not twelve, not probably half of what it was new. Uh, all these years later, it's just really not worth that. It's just not worth it. I don't. That's my opinion. You might love it and say, Mark, I'd give thirty thousand for that van. You're an idiot. Well, come on out and get it, and let's go take a ride, and we'll talk on the CB while we're driving. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back soon on the lot.